Uh, we're getting ready to jump into our pickoff section for rescue applications in high angle environment. So there's two basic types of, of pickoff configurations. One is referred to as a window pickoff. The other one is referred to a line transfer pickoff. They talk about two different applications. The window transfer pickoff deals with uh, approaching a victim who is not on rope, but it is at a static point at a mid height level. As the rescuer, we're gonna try and access that mid height level, get to that victim, rig that victim up, and then take that victim away from that mid height area and either be hauled back up or lower down to the ground. There's uh, also two other variables within both pickoff applications, and that is whether you're operating under a fixed brake consideration or a moving brake consideration. So in the moving brake application, the rescuer himself is gonna have a brake rack that is rigged into the main line. He'll also have a belay that is uh, married into his gear. In the fixed brake application, the rescuer will not be utilizing his brake rack or his uh, descent control device. He'll simply have a knot rigged into his harness and he'll be being lowered from a fixed brake application, meaning that there is a descent control device um, at the top side or the operating area of the high angle operation. So we're gonna go through both different uh, pre-rigging applications. For a window pickoff, uh, utilizing a fixed brake. So the descent control device is hard rigged into an anchor point at the top side. We're going to ensure that that pickoff strap is with the rescuer but not rigged into any element initially. When that main line comes in and is connected to the rescuer's harness, Scott is then going to take the U portion or the, or the U hardware component of his pickoff strap He's going to take that U and he's going to ensure that he rigs that element into the knot of the main line. He's not going to rig that into his harness component. You have to understand that in a pickoff application, you're going to use this strap to, in theory, extend the main line to the victim. If the pickoff strap is rigged into the harness component, then when that component is tensioned or loaded, the load of the patient is in theory going to be on Scott's harness as opposed to on the main line. So it's very imperative uh, in that fixed brake application that we ensure that the U goes to the bite on the 8 of the knot of the main line. Now, if Scott is using a, mo a moving brake application, then his brake rack is going to get rigged into the main line. Once his brake rack is rigged into the main line, Scott's going to be controlling his position on rope by manipulating his brake rack. In this configuration, to ensure that we extend the load of the victim to the main line, we're going to clip the U of our pickoff strap into the eye of the rack, ensuring again that the load of the victim never falls on the harness itself, always ensuring that the load is transferred to the main line. The only other application pre-rigging wise that we need to consider is the belay application. So with the belay line, we're going to create a midline knot that is going to be the attachment to the rescuer. That belay line typically needs one to two arm lengths, a midline knot placed in it, and then that belay component attached to the rigging element of the rescuer's harness. The tail of that belay would then get connected to the victim as soon as the rescuer accesses the victim in either the line transfer pickoff application or the window transfer pickoff application. So now we've covered all those right rigging elements or pre-rigging considerations. We're ready to go up to the top side, look at tying the rope into both of these types of applications and begin our sequences on window transfer pickoffs and line transfer pickoffs.